Here I come. Oh, it scared me actually. And now I'm going against the wind. Oh man, this is fast. Yes, it is fast. So this one got some nice performance in it, man. Sweet. Ah, <laughs> I almost hit myself. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alexandre Mar here. In my hand, I have this awesome Q95. That's a 95 millimeter brushless FPV racing quadcopter and I haven't unboxed it actually I don't have time to unbox it you can just see it here this is how it came the camera was pretty loose so I had to do my you know ugly Alishan job and I had to stick it just this way also I had to install a fly sky receiver I don't know why they sent me fly sky receiver I have Tyrannis so uh, I had no choice but to keep it waiting. So luckily I found this Flysky i6 sitting in my house and after that it was just piece of cake to bind one of these tiny, you can see, tiny receivers. Uh, I mean installation and binding of this tiny receiver was simply super easy. I don't know, things just happen. I was using, uh, I don't know, the Flysky has D bus, other people have S bus, someone have I bus, they have a D bus. So anyway, I just connected three cable and put the uh, beta flight to S bus and it detected my receiver and the commands from the radio. So I'm happy it's gonna fly. Let's put the battery in, install the propeller and see what awesome Q95 can do and if it is awesome or not. Forgot to tell you, the awesome Q95 came with two sets of propellers and propeller guards as well. This means you can install these and fly indoors. Hmm, that's nice. So we'll have another flight indoors later. Only if awesome Q95 survives today. Okay, this is awesome Q95 and this LED light was touching the propellers. No matter what I did, it was touching the propeller. I had no choice but to mount it so rude and a breath on top right here. All right, let's fly and see what this can do. Wow, okay, I see this is very, very light on its feet right after takeoff. Ooh, and oh, it does have some serious punch in it, man. One moment, hold on. Let me bring it closer and we will check the punch right now. Yes, you can see it has really nice punch. I mean, compared to that XF90 that I was just flying, it has a lot of punch in it. XF90 was very, very sluggish, but this one is a screaming. Feel it's very, very light. I think it's because of its very light frame it has. Wow, that's some nice climb rate for these kind of little quads. Impressive. And it is extremely responsive as well. I believe I have put too much PIDs on better flight. <laughs> I hear oscillations on high throttles and turns. Okay, it's killing the battery as well on high punches. Let me test the acro mode and we are in acro mode now. I believe that's the air mode that I set. No, I don't want to crash because these propellers on these quadcopters are really soft and once they crash and break the propeller, mm, I don't have time to change propellers today, man. Back to stabilize mode, that's where I was having fun with it actually. Man, that's super responsive. Let me check the speed, hold on. We will go with the wind right now and here I come 
<laughs> it scared me actually. And now I'm going against the wind. Oh man, this is fast. Yes, it is fast. So this one got some nice performance in it, man. Sweet. Ah, <laughs> I almost hit myself. <laughs> Uh oh, just missed the signpost. Awesome, awesome Q95 is awesome. <laughs> Orientation is a trouble <laughs> because of its little size, but man, this is fun. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me not tease the battery. Let's land. And... Man, this has got some powerful punch to it. Yes, powerful punch, man. Loving it. Very, very nice. Let me land. And... We're gonna fly FPV very, very quickly. Yeah, so much fun. I don't want to land actually, but no choice. Now beeper is constantly giving it up. All right, let's fly FPV on it.
thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new uploads. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it with friends.